in the second question we are given there is a cylinder of radius x and height 2h that is inscribed in a sphere of radius capital r centered at o the volume of cylinder is given by v is equals to 2 pi x square h and the surface area of the outer curved surface is given as s is equals to 4 pi x h so we have to select the correct option and you can clearly see in the option we have maximum volume maximum volume or maximum surface area so definitely we have to find out the value of h where the surface area and the volume are maximum so let's do it so the volume is given as 2 pi x square h so volume was given as v is equals to 2 pi x square h now basically we have to find the maximum value of uh, we have to find the value of h where v is maximum so first there are two variables here x and h so we have to convert that and if you properly look at the image you can clearly see this is a right angle triangle so basically we can write r square is equals to h square plus x square which gives us x square is equals to r square minus h square and x is equals to r square minus h square whole root okay so we can replace x square and we can write this as 2 pi r square minus h square into h which comes out as 2 pi r square h minus 2 pi h cube. Okay, now to find the maxima and minima we differentiate it so dv by dh will give us 2 pi r square minus 6 pi h square right and let's put this to 0 and equating this to 0 we get 2 pi r square equals to 6 pi h square so pi cancels out and 2 cancels out 6 making it 3 so we get r square by 3 is equals to h square and h comes out to be r by root 3 and it would be plus minus r by root 3 now to confirm which one is maxima and which one which one is minima we will double differentiate it as you know if we double differentiate and we get d2 by d2v by dh square less than 0 then it implies that it is maxima okay so let's do it so on double differentiating this term we get no not this term we have to double differentiate this term so we get d2v upon dh square is equals to minus 12 pi h so you can clearly see this will be negative if h is positive so basically the value of h will be r by root 3 positive 1 so this means volume will be maximum at h equals to r by root 3 let's check out which option ticks with this so for maximum value we have to take r by root 3 so option c is correct now we have to solve the same for surface area so we will use the same approach we can write the surface area as 4 pi x h and we can replace x with 4 pi h r square minus h square whole root correct now on differentiating s we get 4 pi r square minus h square root over plus h 1 upon 2 r square minus h square whole root into 2 h i hope till now you know how to differentiate properly and we can simplify this and put it equal to 0 4 pi 4 pi will cancel out both the sides and finally we will get as r square minus h square is equals to h square which gives us 2 h square is equals to r square where we finally get h is equals to r by root 2 and this time also it will be plus and minus but using the same approach we will get h equals to plus r by root 2 h equals to plus r by root 2 so let's see which option checks this out uh, so this will be option d 
no option e so both of these options will be correct for this question uh, with this let's move to the next question question number three uh, this one is quite easy to do you can directly see the graph and tell the answer the question is which of the curve in the following figure enclose a negative area on x-axis in interval 0 to 1 so the important thing is to note the interval 0 to 1 so let's just mark the area so in the first graph the graph is limited at 1 so we have to take the total area and you can clearly see that the positive area is far greater than the negative area so this won't be our answer then in second figure you can clearly see that the negative area is far greater than the positive area so curve 2 will be our answer and in curve 3 you can clearly see all the area is positive so this also cancels out and for curve 4 you can clearly see that most of the part of the area is in negative region and very small part is in positive region so curve 4 will also be our answer so our answer comes out to be curve 2 and curve 4